we are starting with the uh, white dot syndromes in our uveitis series and uh, the first syndrome we are going to discuss in this lecture is multiple evanescent white dot syndrome or MUTES. MUTES is an uncommon idiopathic disease of acute onset, uh, typically occurring in young adult females uh, with 20 to uh, 25 to 50 percent describing a preceding viral-like illness. Uh, patients commonly present with painless monocular blurring uh, with a vision of about 6.9 to 6.60 uh, accompanied by photopsia. Less commonly they present with uh, floaters, scotometas and dyschromatopsias. Uh, there is subtle posterior vitritis in 50% of the cases. The patient can, uh, they have posterior four lesions which are numerous small 100 to 300 microns which are ill-defined deep gray white patches sparing the fovea which has a characteristic orange granular appearance and a dull reflex and this is the important part here and you can see here in the figure there are multiple patches uh, on the fundus picture and uh, they are all over there uh, posterior polar area but they are spare in the phobial area uh, <coughs> optic dyskinesia is occasionally present uh, recovery occurs over weeks uh, often leaving subtle residual signs recurrence occasionally occurs in about 10 percent of the cases investigations include uh, visual fields uh, where the blind spot is commonly enlarged with the temporal field effect. OCT may show inner segment, outer segment junction, uh, disruption and dome-shaped outer retinal lesions. Uh, fundus autofluorescence. Uh, hyper autofluorescent spots correspond to the macular lesions uh, and are visible during active inflammation. Fundus autofluorescence with only foveal uh, granularity. Uh, the fundus autofluorescence uh, of a patient can be seen here. In this picture, you can see there is uh, there are hyperfluorescent spots uh, uh, in the fundus area uh, and during the active inflammation. Uh, fluorescent and geography shows subtle uh, early hyperfluorescence and um, uh, of the dots with late staining. Um, there, uh, it can see uh, you can see in the arterial venous phase there is this uh, hyperfluorescence of the spots and. Vessel wall leakage and disc staining may be seen. ICGA, uh, which is endocyanin green in geography, shows hypofluorescent spots, as it is seen in the figure here. This is ICGA. Those spots which were hyperfluorescent in uh, fundus and geography, they are hypofluorescent here and quite prominent as well. And they are more numerous than visible clinically or on uh, fluorescent and geography. ERG shows a transiently reduced A wave amplitude. Uh, electrooculography and visually evoked response abnormalities may be present. Uh, then we are towards treatment, which is generally not required as the symptoms and signs start to improve spontaneously in most cases by two to six weeks. In rare cases, treatment is needed for colloidal neovascularizations. Now, uh, we are going to uh, conclude the topic of uh, multiple evanescent white dot syndromes. Uh, there are six other syndromes, including acute posterior multifocal placoid pigment epitheliopathy, uh, birdshot pulverotinopathy, punctuated inner 
col uh, choroidopathy, esophaginous choroidopathy, multifocal choroiditis, and panuveitis, and subretinal fibrosis and uveitis, which uh, I am going to discuss in subsequent lectures. Uh, thank you all. If you like the lecture, please subscribe and press on the like button. Thank you.